Hello guys, it's Lion here with Hobbies of Man once again, and today we're doing another uh, film review from my car. Uh, it just got out of the Cinemark near my house, uh, paid $5 for a movie ticket, and I went to watch Shazam! Fury of the Gods, and it was actually a really, really good movie. I enjoyed it a lot. I thought it was really fun. It was pretty enjoyable, and uh, nothing about it was too egregiously bad. The only real problem is that it kind of sucks that it doesn't connect to anything anymore. Um, it kind of, you know... It's good as a movie in itself, but the thing is that these, you know, superhero movies are supposed to be uh, connected to the broader kind of, you know, future of the of the series of the uh, DC, um, you know, cinematic universe thing. And this one, of course, is not, or at least not yet, hasn't been really decided if it uh, will be or not. And that kind of makes it so that a lot of people don't want to watch it. I actually, that's why I watched it on 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 the on the days when my movie theater has, you know, discounts for tickets because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I really enjoyed the first one. I also liked Black Adam, even though it has really nothing to do with this, even though the characters are connected. Um, and I had pretty low expectations for this one, but it actually ended up being a very good film, a very enjoyable kind of heartfelt kind of, uh, you know, thing. Uh, it is a lot about family. Um, and there was like three different scenes that made me, you know, uh, shed a tear or two. Uh, and it was all about the found family aspect that these characters kind of go through, right? Because Billy Batson and all of his, uh, Shazam siblings, um, are all adopted, right? And, um, that kind of builds up the fact that they're also, you know, actually family. Like, they have developed their connection with each other very well, even if they have some issues here and there, which they had throughout the movie. Um, but there was a moment where, you know they um they connect very well in a way that is really meaningful that made me you know tear up a little bit and then there was this kind of like death scene i guess and there was this other one where it was like a mother son connection thing that i really enjoyed it was all very very good i liked every single bit of it the movie was good the story isn't necessarily the most exciting or new type of story it's basically just the Sh shazam family versus a trio of goddesses um, and they have different powers in them, but not that different. And, uh, it's mostly, like, Zach Levi and, uh, the other kid, uh, the, the character, Freddy. Um, they those two are more or less the, the main focus of the story. Um, even though, honestly, I would have liked, uh, the Mary Marvel character to get a lot more, uh, what's it called? A lot more out of her because, well, uh... She she looks really good in, in her outfit in, in the uh, in the superhero thing, but also she seemed to be very excited about this movie, uh, you know, prior to its release. So I really wish that she had more opportunities to kind of shine there, and maybe she'll she'll get moved on to to being some other superhero uh, later on. I think that'd be really good. But um, yeah, the movie wasn't like complex or anything. It's basically like uh, they're teenagers, and because they're teenagers, they want to kind of do their own thing. But their superhero identity is basically all of them are together. And Billy has, you know, trauma and issues with the fact that he's been abandoned so much. And he has to deal with that. And he's kind of like constricting his family members and causing them issues. And then they start losing their powers because of the bad guys. And then eventually kind of Billy realizes, hey, I've been part of the problem. I haven't really been solving anything. I'm just making it harder for you guys. Which then leads into that very emotional scene and then leads to his like uh, climactic moment, which was really, really good. And overall, the action was good. The, the you know, the, the, the animation, the CGI, the characters, the design, everything was good. The storytelling was enjoyable. And overall, the movie was just fun. It's just the problem is that I guess people aren't watching it because they know that it doesn't mean anything. Uh, that it's kind of like a dead film, I guess. Uh, which kind of sucks because, you know, a movie is, is supposed to stand on its own, whether it's part of a larger thing or not, it doesn't, shouldn't really matter, but it, it does nowadays. So, um, that kind of hurts it. But if you guys have the opportunity to do so, I definitely recommend you guys go watch, uh, Shazam Fury of the Gods. It's very enjoyable, very fun. It's definitely one I want to pick up and buy, you know, physically, but what I'll do is probably wait until, you know, it gets released and then it gets put in like a bargain bin or something. Uh, mostly just because that's how I buy movies. I only really buy full price movies 
uh, as gifts. Usually when I buy them for myself, it's always bargains or, you know, discounts and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, but I would definitely buy this a lot for sure. Like I would enjoy having this and, and watching it multiple times. Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's really all there is to say. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know down below if you've watched this movie. And if you haven't watched it, if you are going to watch it, let me know down in the comments. And thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.